Hey, and welcome to your getting started guide with the topical authority generator inside of ZimWriter. Now you can find it in the AI vault and then by pressing the activate topical authority generator button. But I'm gonna close the interface because I wanna take a step back and talk about topical authority in general. It's very important to understand this concept. The best way to understand it is to give you this example. Imagine there's two sites and a user is searching for an article about how to wash a dog. And Google is trying to choose between these two sites. These two sites are completely identical in terms of backlinks and everything else, domain creation date. The only thing that's different is the content on the sites. Both of the sites have an article about how to wash a dog, but the first site is only about dogs, dog care, dog food, how to wash a dog, how to care for a dog, how to adopt a dog, dog breeds, all that stuff. The other site is about everything. It only has one dog article, how to wash a dog, but it has an article on cats, an article on trampolines, an article on investing, and an article on buying your first house, an article on paintball. You get the point. Which result do you think Google would return to the user? The result from the site that's all about dogs or the result from the site that's about everything? Probably the result that's all about dogs because that site is more of an authority, at least in Google's eyes, on the topic of dogs. In a nutshell, that is topical authority. You can use the topical authority files that ZimWriter generates to help give you ideas on how to structure the categories on your site, to structure what articles to write about, to structure the different silos you wanna create. It will even give you some blog post ideas, but there's a caveat to all of this. You wanna use your brain. This is not just plug and chug. Creating your topical authority map and the different articles you wanna write about is so foundational and so important. And if you have a shaky or a poor foundation, your whole house is gonna fall down. So it's very important to get this right. Use what ZimWriter gives you as a very fast track method to build that topical authority, but it doesn't do everything for you. You have to use your brain power. You have to use your intelligence. So let's look at the, the menu. And there's a couple options in here. It's not very complicated. And if you ever get stuck, definitely click this directions link. This directions link will take you to my exhaustive guide on topical authority generation. There's a lot of good meat in here if you have any questions. But the first thing it asks you for is a broad concept. So we can put a broad concept in. Now, again, this could be your niche or maybe you're just investigating. You're trying to find a particular niche. It's all possible with the topical authority generator. I have some examples over here where I said, okay, starting a blog. So my niche would be how to teach others to start a blog. So I could put starting a blog in. And then you can tell ZimWriter how many clusters about starting a blog do you want it to create? How many long tails for each, underline each cluster, do you want ZimWriter to create? And then how many blog post titles for each, underline that word each again, long tail do you want? So theoretically, you can say, I want 10 clusters. And then for each cluster, I want 10 long tails. And then for each long tail, I want 10 blog post titles. That will give you an Excel CSV with a thousand blog post titles with, I think, what is it? A hundred clusters, hundred long tails and 10 clusters. 10, yeah, I think that, I think the math works out right there. Now you can also say, you know what? I want 30 clusters and I want 30 long tails for each cluster. Then you can't select 10 anymore because by selecting one, you're already at that, that 900 limit right there. So you can play with this, configure it however you want. And then you can choose the model that you want as it generates. So here's an example of the output that you can get. So this is the starting a blog. So here's our broad concept. I believe for this one, I chose 20 topical clusters, 20 long tails, and then two blog post titles. So we have choosing a niche. That's a cluster it gave us, content creation, blog platform selection, don't main name and hosting. It gave us a long tail keyword uh, for each of these clusters. How to choose a profitable niche for blogging finding the right niche for my blog, selecting a niche for my blog, niche selection. There might be some overlap. And again, this is where you use your brain. You might say, oh, you know, all of these are related right here. I can lump them all into this particular one and you can highlight it or, or whatever you want to do. And then for each of these, we got some different blog post titles. Now, again, there might be some overlap with this. And again, some of these might not be ideal for writing a blog post about or whatnot. You'll have to use your brain, but it, it's a great starting point. So 15 essential tips for choosing your blog niche. We come down here to uh, niche trends, 12 hot blogging industry niche trends you need. Let's see, sustainability, 
choosing a sustainable blog niche for long-term success. That's pretty cool. Let's see, what else do we have? Three best strategies for creating shareable blog. This is a gold mine of possible topics to write about. Now, I have no idea what the search volume is. This is all AI generated. But you need to understand the AI was trained on actual human written content. So the clusters you're getting, the long tails you're getting, the blog post titles you're getting actually make sense. People are probably searching them even if the search tools, the like hrefs or semrefs or whatever it is, show zero search volume or don't even have the title in there. This is a gold mine for getting clicks. Now you have a couple other columns over here. We have a category column, an outline focus column, and a merged column, which has the title plus the category plus the outline focus. So how do we take this stuff and put it into Zimwriter? So at the very basic level, we can take just a title or a bunch of different titles if we want to, copy them, go to the bulk writer, paste it in, and then write an article about this particular topic. Or what we can do is we can go to the merged column. Now, again, the merged column has the title of the article, the category, and the outline focus. The outline focus, I don't want to get too deep here. It helps give direction to the AI about what it's writing about when it creates the outline. The outline for the bulk writer in general is going to be AI generated. So the outline focus will help give it direction as it creates that outline. And the category will create the category in WordPress if you are auto uploading this to WordPress. So we can take this and we can go back to the bulk writer and we can paste this in. And now it has the category in there and the outline focus. So the outline will theoretically be a little bit better than not having the outline focus in there. And this will auto um, create this category on WordPress if you are using uh, WordPress. So this was starting a blog. Maybe you're like, you know what? This is just, there's too much here. I wanna dial it in a little bit more. I wanna talk about something a little bit more niche specific. So let's close this. And one of those results in there was starting a real estate blog. So let me open this up. So I redid the topical authority generator, but about the concept, the broad concept of starting a real estate blog. So again, I would be, I would create a website and that website would teach other people, other real estate agents or whatnot, how to create a real estate blog. So here's the different clusters it, it gave us, choosing a niche, because I guess there's different types of niches for real estate blogs, content creation, blogging platform, search engine optimization. Now we look in here and see exploring niche options for real estate blogging discovering untapped real estate blog niches, top rated platforms for real estate blogging, designing effective real estate marketing materials. And then we have some different blog post titles for this. If you're like, you know what? I want to go a little bit deeper. I want to uh, niche down even more. Now we have real estate blog marketing strategies. Make this, format this a little bit. So we have... Now, again, the broad concept of real estate marketing strategy, we have content creation, real estate blog ideas. That's the long tail. Why real estate blogging is essential for marketing. 11 tips to convert real estate blog visitors. See lead generation, effective lead magnets for real estate blog marketing, property listings, income generating rental listings. What are the best income generating rental property listings? Like, I guess the formats that you would use. Cool. That shows you how easy it is to, to keep niching down and find that perfect topic that you want to cover. And it doesn't have to be, realize this real estate blog marketing strategies doesn't have to be the entirety of your website. Maybe you just want to exhaustively cover a particular topic, but you want to flesh it out a little bit more. Yeah, you can just put that in here and flesh it out a little more. And then you can create that as a silo on your site. And I have one more example to show you. This example was for gardening. And for this example in Zimwriter, I chose zero blog post titles. So I think I chose 20, 20 clusters, 20 long tails. By doing this, it's a lot less expensive because, and I, I forgot to mention this, if you use GPT-4, this can get expensive if you're doing like 800 results. This can be five bucks. But if you're using like GPT-3.5 Turbo or something like that, this is a lot less expensive, maybe 50 cents or something like that. But if you specify zero blog post titles, it's very inexpensive. So up here, I think I chose GPT 3.5 Turbo. This cost me six pennies and I have, what I get? 500 results out. So I chose zero blog post titles for this. I said, just give me the broad concepts, give me the topical clusters, give me the long tail keywords because I'm just investigating where I wanna go. Like I wanna talk about gardening, but I'm really not sure where. 
Do I want to talk about soil preparation? Here's some different concepts I could talk about. No, I really don't like these. I don't want to talk about that. Watering techniques. I could have a whole site about how to water your garden. So we could go down that rabbit hole if we want. We could take this and feed it back into the topical authority generator as our broad concept. Composting pest control. You know what? That's actually not a bad niche. I don't know how competitive it is, but everybody that plants a garden has to deal with bugs. So that'd be a great niche from a, a content standpoint and you can uh, advertise affiliate products. That's a pretty cool niche. So I could take this pest control and go back to the topical authority generator, paste it in here and say, give me 20 clusters, 20 long tails, two blog post titles and see what happens. So you see how that works? Really awesome way, a novel way to come up with great stuff to talk about for your blog. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, check out my Facebook group. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next lesson.